Tim, shifting gears a bit, the, I have several questions here which are sort of in line with uh, what I was planning to talk to you about as well, but Singapore. So there are a lot of questions about where does Singapore go from here? You talked about a lot of stuff about change and how Singapore needs to change. So the you know, questions principally around you know, what is, uh, Singapore has constantly reinvented itself to keep itself relevant and keep ahead in the changing world. How do you see Singapore shaping itself in the next 10 years? Oh, you should watch my National Day rally. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of things can happen in 10 years. Uh, we know that there are certain physical limits. I mean, our international boundaries are mostly fixed. So even if I reclaim more sea, more land from the sea, it means I have less sea and more land. Uh, the, so the physical, there exist some physical constraints, but I think there are no constraints on your imagination and your creativity. And I don't accept for a moment that we have done everything that we can do in Singapore. Uh, we have an economy which is thriving. I think we have good systems where there's education, where there's transport, where there's housing. But at the limit, we are not at the limit. You can redevelop, you can upgrade, you can change the way you're operating, you can take full advantage of technologies existing and technologies yet to be invented. And in 10 years, you don't know what will be, what, what the new possibilities will be. But I think that we can be faster than other countries in taking and seizing them and in adapting ourselves to them. It's discomforting for our people to have change happen fast. Uh, there will be population, our population is aging. We have to take care of our old folks and give them assurance and security. But the purpose of life is not assurance and security. The purpose of life is to use that security in order to go and achieve something new and different and do better than the people who came before you. I, I, I mean, that's why you go to business school. Because you think you can do better and you can do the business better and actually it's not just that you will make more money in the business but you believe that you'll come up with a service or a product or an idea which will change the world. That's what you dream of. 